Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Shy Silky Moon Gaming uh, channel on YouTube. If you are joining me from Adam Does, welcome. This is where I'm going to start playing some video games. If you are just finding this channel randomly on YouTube, I have another channel called Adam Does where I review movies and TV shows. I'll leave a link in the description for those of you who want to check that out as well. This channel, however, is going to be dedicated to just gaming. Uh, I only have two video games right now on my PS5. I have FIFA 22, which is what we're about to start today. I also have NHL 22, which you might see me do a couple of videos on there every so often. Today though we're going to start with some FIFA 22 career mode. I am a supporter of Tottenham Hotspur and so I thought it'd be fun to start by doing a career mode with them. This will be the first time that I'm actually using players rated uh, above 80. Up till now I've been doing a, a create a club career mode and I started pretty low so there may be a bit of a learning curve for me with these players but I am excited to kind of get into it and start playing with some actually good players. This is also my first time I'm trying anything with the webcam, so if you happen to see this video and you're looking at my face right now, that means I was able to get it to work. If not, I will be trying to work on a setup where you can see my face kind of in the bottom right hand corner. Uh, again, if you see it in this video, then I was able to get it to work. If not, and you don't see my face and you just hear my voice, I will be trying to get a little webcam for you in the near future. For now though, we'll go ahead and get started with the career mode. So here are going to be my settings. I am going to do world class and I'm doing that because I want to actually have fun playing this game. I know a lot of FIFA YouTubers do legendary or ultimate but I always notice that they tend to get a little bit frustrated with the game. I feel like world class is a, a good difficulty for me. I'm never going to claim to be a really good FIFA player and I feel like world class, you know, there's a, a it's a good level for me. Sometimes, you know, I win convincingly. Sometimes the computer destroys me convincingly. I think it's a pretty balanced game mode or uh, difficulty level, I should say. I'm gonna do six minute halves. We're going to be using dollars. We are going to have the European competitions enabled. I'm not gonna do any sort of financial takeover for this one. I'm gonna leave it on loose negotiation strictness just because um, I, I don't wanna make it too difficult. We'll do international offers as well, and then the transfer window will be enabled in our first summer here. Okay, so I just skipped the opening press conference. I didn't really have any interest in doing it, and so now we're about to pick our first preseason tournament. In general, I always pick the tournament that has the most potential prize money, which is looking like this one, the South America Continental Cup. It looks like our big competitors here, no offense to the other teams, but uh, our big competitors here will be Real Betis, Benfica, and RB Leipzig. So we'll accept that invitation. All right, so I'm gonna take a look at my squad here and get a first team going and then let you guys know who I'm thinking of, of selling um, and who I'm thinking of maybe putting on loan. So just give me one quick second here and I'll be right back. All right, so here's what I've decided to come up with for my starting 11. I am gonna do a five back just like Tottenham do in real life. Full disclosure, I never really play a five back formation, so this will be new for me. I'm gonna keep Hugo Lloris in goal. I'm gonna have a back three of Romero, Eric Dyer and Davinson Sanchez. For sure, I'm gonna sell Eric Dyer. Um, he's he's getting pretty up there in age 27. I don't think he's gonna grow very much, and I think we could just do with the overall better center back. Davinson Sanchez, I've used before. He's a little bit younger, so I'm gonna stick with him for now and see how well he grows. But if he ends up not uh, kind of fulfilling his potential, which in, in FIFA, he's a great player. I mean, he's got 75 pace, which is awesome. If he ends up not growing very much, uh, I will sell him. But for now, I'll keep him in there. Eric Dyer, for sure, I'm going to sell, though. I'm going to have uh, Regulon at left wing back and Emerson at right wing back. I don't foresee myself selling these guys at any point. I think they are going to be here for the duration of the career mode. They're both young. Emerson's 22, and I think Regulon's 23, maybe. 24. So um, I'm only going to do this career mode for maybe like four or five seasons, which I don't I don't uh, feel like selling them. Um, in the midfield, I'm going to have two. I, I can't change them to defensive mids right now. They're just listed as center mids. So I'm going to keep Lo Celso in there. Again, in real life, he's struggling a little bit, but in FIFA, he's got half decent potential. So uh, I'm going to keep him there. Uh, Hoiberg, unfortunately, um, I guess he can't play center mid. He's a defensive mid, so I'm going to have to convert him into a um, just a normal center mid. But um, this guy is going to be one of my key players, I think. I really like him in real life. He's got great potential in this game. He's only 25 years old. I foresee him being here for the duration. And if I'm going to be honest, if I do end up selling Hugo at some point, Hoiberg is going to be my captain, no doubt. And then again, another player who in real life isn't really fulfilling his potential, Tongi uh, Ndombele. 
but in FIFA, he's a good player, only 24 years old. I can foresee him getting up there as well. And then I'm going to play with two strikers. I'm going to have to convert Sun to a striker, which it's disappointing they don't have him listed as a being able to play there in the game because he does play that in real life sometimes. So I'll have to convert him. And then, of course, Harry Kane. Now, a few things about my squad here. I'm going to be a little bit more sentimental with this team than I would uh, in the past, meaning... In the past, if I was playing this, uh, Son would be gone probably after like season two because at that point he may start dropping off in overall. I do not intend on selling Son at any point in this career mode. I think um, if I get to the point where he's going to retire, then I'm going to have him retire at Tottenham. Harry Kane, I would have used to have felt that way, but based on some real life recent, um, I don't know, instances, I would be open to selling him maybe in the future. But um, I do think I want to go in for a backup striker at some point because um, these guys are going to get up there in age by like season four or five and they may start dropping off, but we shall see. On my bench here, since I'm not really using um, wide midfielders, I may think of converting Lucas Moore and Bergvine into uh, attacking midfielders, but I'll just have to see about that. Um, Skip, who starts in real life, is just a little bit low rated for me at the moment. I definitely am going to keep him on my bench to come in for either Hoiberg or Lo Celso in game. Um, hopefully that will get him to grow. Uh, Brian Hill, I do not plan on selling at any point. Deli Alley, we'll see as my lone um, backup cam option at the moment. Um, again, it's just up in the air for me. Uh, Tanganga, I'll keep. And then Ben Davies, I'll probably end up selling pretty early on just because of getting up there in age and then you see my reserves here as well i am gonna put in um a second team but i won't show you guys that on screen all right so what i've done in the meantime is i've gone through and added a couple players to the transfer list here you can see some of the older players and then just harry winks who i've never been a huge fan of i don't think he's going to get much game time here for me and then i've added way more younger players to the loan list so hopefully i can get these guys out on loan we do already have a lot of players out on loan and if these guys do get sent out, then I may have to recall some people, but we do have some half decent players out on loan that I can recall. I think what I'm going to do now is go ahead and see if I can't find a uh, first team quality starting center back to replace Eric Dyer with. So I've sent a scout away to look at some first class center backs. I already have one that I had in mind from the get go, which I, I won't show you guys now until I take a look at my shortlist, but uh, we'll give our scout a couple days to look for some center backs. For now, I thought I'd take a look at my youth academy and we have some interesting players here. I see that this goalkeeper is only 56 rated, but he's got good potential. So I think I'll sign him up and then uh, add him to the loan list. And then we also have these two guys here, Neves and Svetanovic, who are super young. I can't even promote them yet, but they have decent potential. So I think I'll hold off for now. Um, I'll probably end up just actually straight up rejecting these guys, but I'll leave them in there for a little bit. I'm going to take a quick second here and do these training drills and then I'll be right back. All right, so there are my drill results. I got an A, a B, and an A, and that's fine with me. That'll keep us good sharpness and good fitness going forward. Uh, I think now what I'll do is just kind of sim, uh, sim ahead a little bit here and get us to the preseason tournament. Let's see what Eric Dyer has to say. Yeah, I mean, all right, let me just get through these messages real quick. All right, we already have a transfer offer here for Ben Davies, which I'm probably, oh, it's a swap deal. Bruma, that's an interesting offer. Um, I'm going to delegate this. Actually, I'll just negotiate it myself. I definitely want to sell Ben Davies, but I don't feel like I want that exchange player. So we will remove the exchange player and promote, uh, propose a new fee of, we'll just call it 17 and let's see what they say. Oh, they accepted it. Interesting. Okay, so that could be Ben Davies. A great servant of the club, but I just don't want to use him in this game. And this guy wants to go out on loan, which is awesome. I am going to sim this entire tournament with our second team, which I think is good enough to win anyways. So let's go ahead and quick sim the match, and let's see how we do. Two new win. <laughs> Davies, who might be about to leave, and then Skip, who uh, is not in the regular starting lineup, scores a goal. 
And that reminds me, I do need to go and switch some players' positions here. Uh, so I know I need to change Hoiberg to a straight up center mid, which knowing this game, changing from a CDM to a center mid is going to take like 100 weeks, 54 weeks. That's, I mean, I don't get it, but we'll go ahead and get that started. Who else did I have to change? I know I had to change Son's position. See, it says he can play striker, so why does he have the little exclamation point? Let's see how long it's going to take to change him to a striker. 95 weeks. Whatever. We'll we'll change it, because that's where he's going to be playing for us. And I am debating changing some other players' positions, but I think for now... We'll just keep it as is. We have a couple offers here for Harry Winks and Lucas Mora. I don't think I'm going to sell Lucas Mora right now, but Harry Winks, we will definitely take a look. They're offering more than his value, so I'm actually going to just go ahead and accept that straight up. And then Lucas Mora, I'm just not interested in selling right now, so we'll reject that. Interesting here. Man City, as they did in real life, want to buy Harold. They want him for 190 he does have a release clause in his contract, which is interesting. So, you know what? I think I'm going to reject this. And then if there's a club that comes in and activates his release clause, cool. I'll accept it. But for now, I'm just going to reject that. We have our next preseason game coming up here against Tigres. Again, I'm just going to sim this with the second team and see how we go. A 3-0 win, Steven Bergvine with a hat trick. We may have to keep him around. I mean, we're going to keep him around, but we may have to put him in that starting lineup. So it looks like Ben Davies is not going to be leaving. We do have an offer here for Eric Dyer from Leicester, which is above his value. So I will just straight up accept that. And hopefully he buggers off to Leicester. And Harry Winks is also going nowhere. Dang it. I really want him out of the club. I'm just going to uh, sim here again to our next preseason game. So... This is the guy that I had in my mind going forward uh, from the start was Maxence Lacroix, who I think even though he's only 79 rated, he's only 21 years of age, and I think he'd be a great um, replacement for Eric Dyer in the starting lineup. So I think I'm for sure going to go in for him, but I'm, I'm going to sim. Actually, just kidding. I'm going to go in for this guy now and bring him in now so we can get him started uh, in the next game. Potentially, we have an offer for uh, Doherty or Doherty, however you say his name. Again, it's above his value. Is that because I put it on loose transfer negotiations? Am I just going to keep getting offers above the player's values? I mean, I'm going to accept it because I'm not going to use him at all. But let's go in for Maxence Lacroix. So I'm just going to offer... We'll start with 45 and see what Wolfsburg say about that. They want Deli Alley plus 37 million. I don't want to sell Deli Alley right now because I do plan on using him as a backup. I want to remove that player, sorry, and propose a new transfer fee. How about let's do what I initially said? I don't want to give you a player. 62. Going to counter. Let's go in the middle. How about 53? All right, 53 million for Lacroix. I will take that. Let's get into the contract negotiations. So I'm just gonna make him a crucial first team player because I do plan on starting him right from the get go, which is probably what they wanted. They want a four year deal, which I'll accept. I do not want a release clause in there. Oh, and now I got a offer. So I'm just gonna, since this is loose negotiations, I'm betting if I just offer 50,000 uh, 50, a week, they'll accept it. Um, if not, then they'll want less per week, but they'll want um, incentives and stuff like that. So let's see what they say here about the 50,000 a week. So they actually want more. That's interesting, 58,000 a week. It's because five I feel like we can get, and then we'll submit it like that. Let's see what they say. Okay, cool. We got a new first team center back here. Eric Dyer, your time at the club is coming to an end. We will put Lacroix right in there. And Eric Dyer no longer uh, has a spot there. But 
that's what I wanted. The only other position I can think of possibly needing a backup for would be striker. I only have the two, and on my bench, I don't have any other people that can play striker. Um, so I have my scouts looking for a striker that can be kind of like a third option behind Kane and Son, but um, I don't have a whole lot of money right now. I'm definitely going to have to sell some players before we can look into that. We're here now at the final preseason game. Um, we're just going to sim this. Actually, I'm going to give the first team uh, a go here. Just see how they can do. Make sure that they're not losing their match sharpness or anything like that. Give it a quick sim here. And it's a 2-1 win. Tongi and Dombele with a goal. And Pierre-Emil Hoiberg with another goal. So we're perfect in the preseason tournament so far. That'll at least give us a little bit more cash, I think. Yep, tournament prize money here. Almost 3 million extra, which is awesome. And we're just going to sim straight ahead on into the semifinal game here. Oh, and there's some good news. Eric Dyer's gone. We get 18 million for that. So how much does that leave us with right now? We have a cool 57 million. And actually, if I adjust this, we do not need that much of a wage budget. Oops, going the wrong way. Honestly, if we keep it at like that, we got 82 million. That's enough for a good striker, another good striker. Again, I'm happy with the team that we have right now. Um, pretty young, plenty of room for growth, but I definitely do want a backup striker who can come off the bench if need. So let me go see if I can find any from our scout, and then I think I'm going to uh, go ahead and end the video after that. Um, so here we go. All right, so these are all the strikers that I'm looking at signing as a third option. We have uh, Angel Correa, Moise Akin, who's on loan, so I don't think I'd be able to get him right now. Victor Osiman, Richarlison, Dominic Calvert-Lewin, and Yusuf and Nazari. Of course, I do need to scout some of these players further to get not only an idea of what their overalls are, even though like I, I have enough knowledge of this game to know roughly what their overalls are, but just to kind of get an idea of their transfer value because I have about 82 million to spend. I don't want to spend it all on one of these guys. Um, I just need them to be a backup. So I don't want to blow the budget on a backup striker. So we'll just let them do some more scouting. And then in the next episode, we'll probably see who we want to sign. For now though, I think um, I'll just sim through the preseason tournament and then we'll end the episode there. So we do have the semifinals against Benfica, who uh, I'm debating if I want to use the first or second team. The first team looks kind of tired, and I do want to avoid injuries, so we'll just quick sim with the second team here. And we do end up losing, which I'm not too bothered by. It, it, you know, it limits our options for injuries going forward, so I'm fine with that. We still got about $3 million from that tournament. Yep, I'm fine with that. We got $4 million more. All right, I'll take that. Yeah, we lost. So let's take a final look at our transfer budget here. So again, if I adjust this, we have almost 90 million to spend. So in the next episode, we will finish up the transfer window here. We'll sign a backup striker. And I think we'll get into the first Premier League game of the season. So thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to stay tuned for more.